Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you seven different ways that you can set up a grab-and-go snack station in your home. Now, if you're like me and have some little ones at home, and you're frequently hearing, Mom, can we have a snack? Then these ideas are going to be especially helpful because with these grab-and-go stations, kids are going to be able to help themselves independently. Now, I'm super excited to share all of these different organizing ideas with you guys. I'm also going to be sharing lots of different snack ideas as well. And I want to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. First up is an idea that I like to call a snack calendar. For this idea, you're going to need an unexpected item, which is a hanging shoe organizer. Now for me, this idea works really well because I have four kiddos and with this shoe organizer, there are four spaces across. So each kid will have their own column. And I do have to say, I think that this idea will work best if you're able to hang it on the inside of your pantry door. To help create the labels for this snack calendar, I'm just going to use some of these colorful binder clips and my label maker. Once I have those all put together, I can easily clip these to the hanging organizer, just like this, so that each kid knows which column is theirs. And then of course, along the side, I'm adding a clip with the days of the week, but only Monday through Saturday since this organizer has six rows. If you have snacks that are disappearing way too quickly in your house, this can definitely be a way to help ration and portion them out. I love that each of my kids can go to their snack pouch for the day and they're not gonna have to ask me what they can have. Now, just as an example, in each of these sections, I've included something with protein, something with fruit, a salty snack, and then I've also included a sweet treat, something like a granola bar or a fig bar type snack. Now, if you didn't wanna create a whole snack calendar set up like this, you could also just organize your different snacks like this in each little pouch, grouping like items together. This is definitely a space-saving and visually appealing way to organize your snacks. This next idea is a little inspired by Harry Potter and I call it the snack trolley. For this snack station, you're going to need a rolling cart. These come in lots of different sizes and colors, and you can find these just about everywhere these days. Most of the time, these carts have three different shelves. So I think the top shelf would be a perfect place to store your bulk snack items. If you have some airtight containers that will definitely help keep your snacks nice and fresh, you could add things like popcorn, veggie straws, or pretzels. And then right next to these containers on the top shelf, I think it's a good idea to include some tongs or maybe a little scooper. That way, when the kids go to help themselves get a snack, they're not gonna have to stick their hands inside of each of the snack containers. Now for the next shelf of the cart, that would be the perfect place to add your smaller snacks. So if you have a container like this, this can be really helpful if you wanna keep everything displayed nicely. But of course, you don't have to have one of these. You really can just place all granola bars, fig bars, and applesauces directly to the shelf itself. But of course, I love the aesthetic of having everything front and center and on display. And then finally to the bottom shelf, this is a great area to put your larger snacks. Now, if you live in a place with a small pantry or maybe a place that doesn't even have a pantry at all, then this snack trolley can give you the extra snack storage that you're looking for. I also love that this station comes on wheels so you can even store it away when it's not snack time if needed. And of course, this snack trolley setup would also be really helpful for kids to use while packing their own school lunches in a hurry.
Now I call this next idea a mini mart in a drawer. And this is probably one of my favorite ideas out of the whole bunch because it's a little more discreet since all you need to do is take over one drawer in your kitchen. Now to keep all these snacks organized, you can get one of these adjustable bamboo organizers like this. Of course, I love how adjustable this is so I can really fit any kind of snack I want in here as long as it's not too tall for my drawer. I think this is such a fun surprise in a kitchen. It looks like just a regular drawer, but it's filled with so many goodies. The kids are going to love this one. Next up is an easy idea for a refrigerated snack station, and this one uses just the side door of your fridge. Now on this very top section, this is sort of dedicated to drinks. My kids love a cool, refreshing, special drink, and this is the perfect place to put them. Then on the next shelf, I'm loading this with lots of protein packed options. So things like yogurt tubes and cheese fit really nicely in the back. Now in the front, I also have some Greek yogurt and granola packs already prepared. And I've also prepped some little containers filled with turkey pepperoni and cheese. My kids love these as a snack. Then on the bottom section, this is completely dedicated to some already prepped easy grab and go fruits and veggies. For the fruit, I try to think of things that are going to stay good in the fridge for a long time. So mandarin oranges and grapes, having these washed and pre-portioned makes them so quick and easy to grab. And then for the veggies, I like to start by adding some ranch and some hummus to the bottoms of my reusable containers first. Then I like to stuff in as many baby carrots and celery as I can fit. Now I love this idea of just using this one area of my fridge as a dedicated snack station for the kids. That's going to make it so much easier for them to grab and go. And I still have the rest of my fridge to store everything else I need. And you guys, I can't talk about all of these snacks without mentioning Thrive Market. If you've never heard about Thrive Market before, it's basically an online membership-based grocery store, and they're on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. Now, I love that I can shop with them and find thousands of the best-selling organic foods and natural products that are below traditional retail prices. And you guys, if you find a better price somewhere else, they'll actually match it. Thrive Market has an amazing selection of organic groceries, snacks, supplements, eco-friendly cleaning supplies. They also have non-toxic beauty items, personal care items, organic products for the kiddos. You can find meat and seafood, frozen veggies, and a lot more. Now in my recent order, I was able to find lots of items that were gluten-free. And you guys, whether you are gluten-free or vegan, or maybe if you eat keto, you're gonna be able to find so many things to fit your diet. They have over 90 plus different dietary options to choose from. Now monthly membership options, are gonna run you $9.95 a month. And for a yearly membership, that's gonna run you $59.95, which comes out to only $5 a month. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a link in the description box below for you guys, or you can go to thrivemarket.com slash the family fudge to get 40% off your first order, plus a free gift worth over $50 when you join Thrive Market today. This next idea is great if you want a Pinterest style snack station in your pantry, but you wanna do it on a budget. At just about every dollar store, you can find a variety of different storage containers. And of course, these work really well in your pantry to organize snacks. My favorite dollar store containers include this one that's supposed to be a wash bin for like washing dishes. I also really love these tall canisters. They have a screw on lid and a handle built in. And then I also really like these clear shoe bins. The wash bins 
are nice and big and they are the perfect place to organize snack bags and bars. You can line all of these snacks up just like you would with a fancier, more expensive organizing container. Or if you wanted to, you could just throw them all in. The canisters, I think, work really well for your cereals and your bulk snacks. So things like crackers or pretzels. And then lastly, the clear shoe bins. I actually don't use the lids at all. I just use the bottom part. I love that they're clear so you can see exactly what you have and you can use these to organize just about anything you'd like. And then of course this is personal preference but when choosing containers from a dollar store to organize I usually go with the ones that are either white or clear because overall I think it gives the space a very clean and streamlined look. Now on to the next snack station idea. And you guys, this one is a super cute way for on-the-go snacking. Now, I will admit that this one is a little bit extra, but I see these mini fridges on sale all the time these days. And if you get one that can plug into your car like the one I have, that makes it really easy to create a fun on-the-go snack station. This snack station would be great for road trips, or for kids who go to practice directly from school and they like to have a nice cold fresh snack on the way. Next up is a countertop self-serve snack station. Now this one kind of reminds me of a hotel breakfast setup and that's because for it I'm using a two-tiered bamboo fruit basket. Now if you're looking for a nice looking snack station that can just stay on your countertop 24 seven, then this could be the thing. Now for this snack station, I'm going with sort of a healthier theme. So on the bottom, I'm going to fill it up with lots of different whole fruits. So things like pears, apples, oranges, and bananas. Having them displayed like this can definitely help encourage kids to pick a healthy snack option. And then on the top, I'm adding some separate containers. In this one, I'm adding some dried fruit trail mix. I'm also adding some pistachios, some mixed nuts, some turkey jerky sticks, and then lastly, a few of these almond flour banana bars. And there you have it guys. I would love to know in the comments down below which of these snack stations did you like the best? Again, I want to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring this video and don't forget to check them out to get 40% off your first order plus a free gift worth over $50 when you join Thrive Market today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.